man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Um, could you get out of there? Because I've got to clear all this rubbish away. This isn't rubbish. This is my home. That hole that you crawled through is my front door, sir. The little skateboard there, that's my transportation unit. This old peach, why, it's my hat, sir. Look. Yeah. Peach hat. <laughs> Everything's different in my world. Let me explain. I look at things that are different. Are you a prince? I am called Vince, but I'm not a prince. Princey, princey. <laughs> I did a rhyme. Well done. You should have a goblet of wine. It's not really a goblet, is it? It's sort of a tennis ball cut in half. <laughs> what is this? Vimto? It's blood from a cat's face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You like my joke? I've got to go, actually, because you're a freak. Look, no, no. I didn't always used to be a freak. That's if you heard my story, you'd understand me more. I really like stories. Got pictures with it and animation. Cartoons, cool. Move my galoshes and take your seat. These are not really galoshes, are they? They're Johnny's. They're my squishy boots. <laughs> Everything's different in the world of me. Okay, let's have fun. Yeah, that's not the film I meant to show. That's the nighttime film for me in the night times for the fuzzy tingle time. Once upon another time, there was a fox, and he was called Jerome. He lived in the woods, in Elderberry Wood. His friends were Nicholas the Tennis Rat, and Dante the Racist Badger. <laughs> Bloody wild. They spent their days punting down the lazy rivers of Cambridge Town. Shooting. Occasionally would eat a cucumber sandwich and sit under Mr. Willow the Tree. One day, whilst relaxing, he found a copy of Cheap Bone magazine. It was in the bush. <laughs> and he read an article about London life. He read it over and over and over and over again and over. And then decided he was going to go to London. His friend said, no, you can't go. But he decided he was going to, because he was a willful little fox. And he set off to the town. We're on the train. Three weeks later, he was off his tiny face in a gay club. Woohoo! The fun, fun times for him. But the party lifestyle took its toll. Eventually, he ended up on the streets begging for cheese in Dalston. That fox, my friend, was none other than me. The crack fox. Yeah, how that never won a BAFTA, I will never know. Can I come in your house? You've been in my house. It doesn't really work like that. I'll see you later, yeah? Ah! What are you doing? You just stabbed yourself oh. in the leg of a biro. <laughs> Someone came in and stabbed me when you were looking away. I didn't see anyone. We're puffed her. You can't speak like that. It was a Nazi. It was a Nazi man. Oh, danger. Oh, take out the biro, sir. <laughs> I'm going now. Bye. Oh, okay, if you're going then, can you do me one last favor? What? Bludgeon my face in. Kill me. Pull me apart like soft bread. Punch me in the tits. Destroy me. Twist my head clean off and put me to sleep with your kind boots, Mr. Fancy Man. Look, I couldn't do that, all right? These are new boots. They cost a lot of money. I'll see you around, yeah? I'll just slit my own throat and bleed to death here. It's nice to have met you, Mr. Kind Face. All right, look, you can come in for five minutes, all right? <laughs> for a plaster and a cup of tea, but that is it. You've got to get out of here before Howard comes back, because there's no way he's going to understand you. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you real bad when we get inside. Hmm? Nothing. Just a 